This is a brief demo of the Smith & Wesson rotary table system. The system consists of a rotary table that moves two fixtures uh, 180 degrees. One fixture is for loading parts while the other fixture is in the marking process. Each fixture has a Sherline rotary indexer on it and that fixture can rotate 180 degrees to present the front and back side of the part for marking. The Prolase Plus is open. The system is going to go into an initialization mode. In the initialization mode, the system is going to find the, the, the uh, home position for each of the axes. No motion starts until fingers are placed into the finger switches, at which time each rotary axis, the z-axis, and the table axis all find their home positions. All axes are now located and know where they are, so we can begin to mark. If we load the Smith & Wesson test job, that job is designed to mark a part on one side, flip, flip the part 180 degrees, mark the back side of the part, return the part to the load position, and where a freshly loaded part can be marked. That sequence continues until the batch of parts is, is run. We'll do a batch of three parts, each batch being two parts. The system is not going to start until finger switches are pressed. The and on light at the top of the enclosure illuminates to let the the operator know the system needs attention in the event that the operator isn't standing by the system. After the first mark, the rotary fixture rotates 180 degrees to the back side of the part. After that mark is done, the fixture rotates back to its home position, and the system's waiting for the touch switches again. The table then moves to present a freshly loaded part under the marking station, and the part that was just marked and now be removed and inserted. If the operator is fast enough and the marking time is long enough, parts can always be available for the system to mark. And the only thing that would limit throughput is how much attention the operator pays to the system and whether or not they were ready to press the finger switches when the system was ready to move into the part place.